afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Got a great value price used camper we're going to review today. Those of you wanting a bunkhouse camper, want something really simple and really reasonably priced, you may want to pay very, very close attention to this one. This is a 2017 Coleman Lantern. This is the model 27 BHS. Guys, this is the largest one, if I'm not mistaken, Coleman builds without a slide out. So, you know, I know a lot of people like slide outs. A lot of people don't like slide outs. So this is for those of you who are wanting something just simple. Unhook it, plug it up, you're camping. This is it. 274 BHS. It is 28 feet, 7 inches long, including the tongue. It has a power patio awning with LED light strip. Let's look around this camper. And the camper is in just a excellent condition, uh, especially <laughs> for that price. That is a 17.9 price for this camper. is very, very, very reasonable and, and very nice condition. I mean, the stripes to finish look great. You have outside speakers. Of course, Coleman, first name in camping. Now, I mean, these aren't, you know, fancy Corian countertops and all that stuff, but ceramic tile floor, but, you know, it's camping, guys. Six gallon DSI water heater. And you can see, guys, no slide, 30 amp electrical service. I'm adapted down to 15, so I just got the lights on. Nice unit, guys. I'm just trying to get caught up on some of these towables, why it's not so hot today. I don't have to have AC. Uh, double 20 pound bottles on the front, deep cycle battery, got the black diamond plating. You can see the decal on the front looks good. Good old classic Coleman. Believe me, I've still got quite a few Coleman lanterns and stove tops. I like to, uh, I actually like to collect them and redo them. So I've got some that are 40, 50 years old that still work as good as the day they were built. Um, kind of one of my several hobbies I mess with. But let's look inside this Coleman. And just a classic bunkhouse floor plan. Front bedroom with a Queen Island bed. Uh, you do have some overhead cabinets, some storage, no smoke or pet odors. Very clean. You can walk around the bed. You got a place for a TV in the corner if you wanted to add one. You got a privacy curtain because they're trying to keep the weight down, obviously. Uh, you've got a sleeper sofa that's going to fold down, make a bed. Table booth that'll fold down, make a bed. Uh, here's all your light switches, monitor panel, water heater control, awning switch, all that good stuff. 13,500 BTU roof air. Does have a six cubic foot RV refrigerator freezer that runs off propane or electric. So if you're boondock camping, run it on propane. Fury and stereo system. Place for a TV. And you have the full size bunks. Now these are just the regular single bunks. These are 54 inch wide, it's full beds in themselves. You can sleep two kids each on these. So, uh, you know, they can actually sleep up to 10. 300 pound weight limit though on the top bunk, please remember that. Uh, refrigerator looks clean and we do guarantee it to work. In fact, it's already starting to get cool. Got a rear corner bathroom. Got a small tub, no skylight. I do like that, believe it or not. Yeah, it, throws, it makes a little bit more dark in here, but that's one less issue you gotta worry about. Cause those skylights after several years get brittle, they break and they leak. So anytime I choose between a skylight and no skylight, I personally like no skylight. RV toilet sink, everything right what you need. Plug in for your hair dryer microwave non-ducted air i'm sorry if i said ducted i meant non-ducted air conditioner 13.5 which is plenty for this space uh look up here guys closets on each side plenty of plug-ins led lights for low power consumption if you're boondock camping which this would be a good camper for that i think um 
Lots of windows in here for ventilation. Neat little camper, guys, and it's not very heavy. It's something you can tow with just about any pickup truck, half-ton pickup. I mean, 4,600, I think 20 pounds, something like that. Heck, that ain't nothing. You know, if you, I mean, if you don't know what your vehicle can tow, I do have a link in the video description below to my little handy dandy uh, tow guide, and you can not only look up how many pounds your vehicle can tow, but you can push the lower right hand button that says "Show me RVs I can tow," and it will show you everything I have on my website that you can tow with your RV. And my website doesn't just go by the dry weight; it's got a formula like like this one, say forty six twenty. You know, your, your truck may be rated for 4,700 pounds, but you won't be able to tow it because it's going to add, uh, I think, 8 or 10% for water, food, luggage, propane, things like that on top of the dry weight. So it's a great tool to figure out if you can tow this or not. And, of course, guys, always check with your, uh, like if you drive a Chevrolet, call your local new Chevy dealer service department with your VIN number and get the get the exact uh, weight you can tow on the factory specs because my tow guide is deemed reliable but not guaranteed. So, you know, that, that's, uh, you know, for, unfortunately that is a job. Knowing what your vehicle can tow is not the job of the RV dealer to tell you because you need to know that for yourself. Uh, you need to check with the people who built your truck to get that information if you don't already know it or if you've still got your uh, window sticker look on it and a lot of times in your owner's manual too but guys nice little camper i think it is it got a couple little booger marks on the sofa i guess if i just really had to pick this thing uh got a place for a tv up there in the corner if you wanted to add a real small one i don't know if you'd put a 32 up there or not you'd have to measure it but probably gonna be like a 27 28 just a small one but guys, you're going to be out camping. Heck, who needs TV, right? Anyway, uh, 17.9, of course, we do check the major systems. We give the Parkway RV inspection. We make sure the refrigerator freezer gets to operating temp. We make sure your roof air is cold. We check your plumbing, your water heater, um, water pump. Of course, we check your plumbing, make sure there's no plumbing leaks. And, of course, everything else is sold as is. That's how we keep our prices down. Uh, so you need to come either do one or two things. Either come inspect it yourself, the other systems, to see what works and what doesn't. I'm going to venture a guess on this that because of the condition it's in and, and how well it's been taken care of, I don't really think you've got much to worry about. But don't take my word for it. You need to find that out for yourself. So come do your own inspection. And uh, or if you don't feel comfortable doing that, don't have time, hire a third party inspection service, guys. Man, that's a great resource. Um, you know, I've started using them a little bit uh, when I buy for sale by owners out of town before I buy. And um, so far, it's worked out really good. So. Uh, so anyway, and guys, uh, thank you for watching. I just want to do a quick one on this Coleman. I thought it was a great value priced unit. It's under, it's well under 20 grand. It's a nice, clean little camper. Not doesn't look like it's been a live-in model. Um, and really, for those of you who just want a simple, easy to use camper, but with a little bit of room, this is ideal, guys. It really is simple. First timer, or you might be. You know, in the situation I was in, I went from a 38-foot pretty complicated motorhome to a 25-foot, no slide, no jacks, <laughs> little Class B plus, and I love it, guys. Just, just simple. <laughs> it just, uh, but that's the stage I'm in in my, in my, um, in my RVing life is keeping it short and simple. Not everybody's there. A lot of people like the big complicated ones and nothing wrong with that. Everybody's got their own version of RVing and nobody's right, nobody's wrong. A lot of people just like throwing a tent in the back of a pickup truck or a, a sleeping bag and, and call that camping. And some people pop up hybrid, a, a, a regular camper, a motor home, a diesel, a C-Class, a B van. I mean, it don't matter, guys. It's all fifth wheel. It's all RVing. Have fun with it. Do what makes you happy. You only live once. Enjoy it, guys. Really. 
Um, but thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate it. This one's seventeen nine plus applicable sales tax. We have no added fees. Um, we're not like Rip Off World, all these other places. And I got a funny story about them. I'll tell you in the next video because I just bought an RV that they were going to buy from an individual. And I'll tell you about that here in a little bit, but it's kind of funny how we got it instead of them. But, um, um, but guys, this is a, we'd have no fees. There's no dock fees, prep fees, none of that nonsense, which is all a hundred percent dealer profit. We do have delivery fee. If you want it delivered, it's a dollar 50, a loaded mile one way. If you're interested in that guys, give us a call. Uh, like I said, we only charge one way, so we do not charge for the return trip. Most dealers charge 3 to $4 a mile coming and going. We just charge you for going up there. We don't charge you for the return trip. So if you want delivery, just figure up how many miles you are from 5568 Battlefield Parkway, Ringgold, Georgia. And times that, times $1.50, and that's how much we charge. And guys, yes, that is the lowest we can deliver. We're actually losing money with the current gas prices at that number. But we still do it for as long as we can anyway. Thank y'all for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I know that's just a quick video. Smash me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to comment, share on social media. I got a really nice Class C motor home I'm going to film next. Uh, so stay tight for that one. Practically brand new, but it's used in a used price. So, um hang out for that and uh thank you so much for watching financing available with approved credit now payment if you want the latest information about that give give us a call at 706-965-7929 as always call before coming to look to make sure it's available and um if you're coming long distance you probably want to leave a consi consider leaving a deposit on it um this one may not make it through the weekend it, this is a very hard to find price range in a nice used travel trailer and here it is in something late model too um so don't expect this one i mean i've been doing ones older than this for 21 22 9 and this one's a 17 for 17 9 that's a it's a great deal it's lightweight and it's clean so thanks so much for watching uh, feel free to comment, share on social media, hit that subscribe button, RV's a big bow, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.